decorating my hallway with Rumix. Okay, so our hallway was extremely dark, as you can see the light has changed already, and it was very dark, we had overhead picture rails, the floor was checkered with red and orange, which I've had a lot of backlash over painting by the way, but for me this place was just a bit too dark, it needed a refresh, we are having an extension at the end of the year so the floor is going to get ripped up anyway so people are saying oh i'm ruining original features while well, i was going to ruin it anyway so why not ruin it first even though i'd like to say that it's not ruined it's actually a lot brighter in here better and all around i just much prefer it and when i walk in it makes me feel happy and the before didn't so why would i not do that so what we decided to do is, as you can see here, we've got these picture mouldings and I have teamed up with Rumix to panel my house. I'm gonna do the hallway with the picture mouldings and then I'm also going to do my living room as well. I don't want it to be too much in the living room so I'm just gonna have like the thinner picture mouldings um, and yeah, keep it really neat and tidy and quite subtle um, because I, I feel like what we've done in the living room, we've taking off the brick in the chimney breast and I don't want to go too mad with panelling but anyway so when we removed the wallpaper in here I could see that there was um, an original line here which made me think that there was once dado rails so I thought why not if I'm ruining the original floor then why not stick an original feature back in um, there were picture mouldings at the top but we um, know that these weren't original and they were actually really badly made so we definitely knew we wanted to get rid of them and in such a narrow hallway it really did encroach on the light and made it feel really small and ooh, titchy in here so what we decided to do we decided to get rid of all of the wallpaper and um, that was a task in itself and then I <laughs> so then we decided to leave it for like months and months and months we did not touch the hallway i think it was for, it was about 17 weeks where we didn't touch the hallway um i just literally just didn't have it in me i think after doing so much diy before christmas the last thing i wanted to do was do the hallway because it is just dark and dingy it's not the nicest place to work in um let alone sort of like I just couldn't deal with it. So we removed the picture mouldings, we removed the wallpaper, we filled the picture moulding in because it was back to brick. We left it for 17 weeks and then I came back and decided, right, we need to do this. So I've teamed up with Rumix on the panelling and Lick in the colour. So what we've decided to do is paint the floor. Um, I've only done one layer at the moment, so I will do a second layer when I really can't be bothered. It's just, it's not nice because we use the hallway and when the paint's dry, uh, wet, it's really difficult to walk in here. But I've also painted the radiator black again we decided to not go and spend loads of money and get new radiators we thought we would just use what we've got and paint them black and it has made them look a lot more modern and more fresh so then i went ahead and filled all the gaps in i uh, made sure that the walls were to an okay standard to be fair i could have done a better job on the wall so um, and then i went ahead and painted uh, we've got just brilliant white on the top and teal zero one teal zero one on the bottom and i think it has just completely modernized it even though i've put an original feature back in it just feels so much more airy and fresh in here so yeah all you need to do in terms of the picture rails is i just measured it out i cut it uh, Rumix actually supply you with a mitre saw and a mitre box. I've fortunately got a mitre saw, an electric one, so I did just use that. But if you haven't got that, then Rumix will supply it all for you. Once it was cut, I literally just glued it on. I had my um, spirit level, glued it onto the wall, just made, just held it there until I felt like it wasn't going to move. Pop the spirit level on the top and just made sure that it was completely level and then obviously you have to make sure that they're all the same height so I just measured it out and got the, the height right. 
once that was glued and I felt like the glue was dry, I just went round and corked it all. I did actually paint and prime it before I put it on the wall, just to save cutting in and things like that. And yeah, and this is the result. I think it actually looks really good, um, considering, you know, it didn't actually take that long. It was about two days of, of hard work. Um, and yeah, I've uh, restored the original feature of the dado rail. But yeah, if you've got a panelling project that you really, really want to get stuck into but you just don't know where to start, then I would definitely recommend Roomix. Working with them has been an absolute bliss. You go onto their website, you pop what project you want to do in, you can put the measurements in and things like that, and they will send you a box with everything that you need. So they will, you'll have a tape measure, nails, a hammer, mitre saw, glue, cork, primer, brush, filler, everything that you think you might need to do panel in and it's all a bit, oh god I'm, I'm going to need all this stuff and haven't got it, Rumix will supply it all to you as well as the wood which I think is fantastic because um, they're actually, you know, compared to the price of wood at the moment, they're really affordable and they've just made the whole project so much easier. And then they will send you a pamphlet and you just read through the pamphlet and they will take you through step by step exactly what you need to do in your panelling project. And it just made this panelling project so much easier for me. Like, even though I'm a DIYer and I like doing things like this myself, I was trying to think like, I can't actually think how I'm going to stick this on the wall. And then I read the, the guide and it just said, just glue it. So I was like, do I should have just glued it? I just didn't think it would hold, but it did. So I did that and I was able to do it on my own. Um, yeah, really easy. And I think their sort of business model really helps people who are really DIY and they want to do this panelling project, but they don't really want to have to pay thousands to get somebody in um, and I don't think you need to get somebody in to do a panelling project it's really really easy to do it yourself so if you've got any questions in regards to the um, panelling just drop a comment I can try and answer as much as possible this was Lick TLC Rule 1 as I previously mentioned and yeah this is a hallway transformation